Hello everyone, this is Coder Singh and in this tutorial, I'm gonna start with initializing the project and uh, installing all the dependencies. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mkdir, <coughs> make a new folder called paid tracker. Since my application name is paid tracker, so I'm gonna make it like that. So paid tracker, npm in it. Yes, 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 Coder Singh. Okay, I spelled it wrong, no problem. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do npm i express. I hope it works. Yeah, npm i express. I'm gonna do a lot of things. JWT then. T then for JWT authentication. Then I'm gonna do pg. pgh store. pgh store? Yeah, it's pgh store. <clears throat> yeah, this much. <clears throat> Now I'm gonna start, uh, basically I'm gonna add J one more thing. Save dev, add the red types. <clears throat> add the red types, JWT then, and I'm gonna have a couple of more. So JWT then is for the JWT package we install the types. And uh, this one, the blue bird is for the SQLize, which we're going to install. SQLize is basically an ORM, which is used to connect. And it's basically make a bridge between, <coughs> make a bridge between the Node.js application or the TypeScript application with the, with the database. And we don't have to write any queries or make a database over there. I mean, we just have to create a database. And then after that, we just need to, we don't need to create uh, any kind of uh, table or uh, write um, put constraints or anything like that. We can all do it in in the Express JS sorry Node JS or TypeScript code itself. <clears throat> so I'm gonna uh, save it as dependencies like developer de dependencies. Now I'm gonna install the reflect metadata <clears throat> and the SQLize and the SQLize TypeScript npm i reflect metadata. These are all the dependencies for SQLize. <clears throat> so in this tutorial, I'll just be, and in the next tutorial, I will be talking about how to set up your database. If you have not installed a uh, Postgres uh, SQL, I would highly suggest you just watch a tutorial how to install a Postgres SQL, and then you can do it. <clears throat> so our app is ready. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open in Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna write code dot and here it is so i'm gonna make a new folder called called src sorry it's, it's a file i'm gonna do a src and src i'm gonna make app dot ts so i'm gonna do um import star s x press from x press Okay, <clears throat> sounds great. And I'm gonna do app is equals to express. Sorry, const app is equals to express. And I'm gonna start a server app dot listen. Listen under eighty eighty. One so log app running at HTTP local host ADAT. So let's uh, run this application. <clears throat> so to run this application, I'm going to do control and tilde. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to do TS node so if you do, guys don't have ts node so you can do npm i minus d ts node uh it's, it's a really good tool uh to run a typescript indirectly as a node application so we can we can do ts node source app dot ts <clears throat> so yes fine finally our uh our application is running on basically 8080 i wrote one more zero so our application is running. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna talk about how to set up your Postgres SQL. 
and uh, how to create a database in PostgreSQL. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching the tutorial. If you like it, uh, then please subscribe my channel and like my video, it really motivates me to make new content for you guys. Thank you so much guys for watching the tutorial. See you in the next tutorial.